Okay, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how I make a static Mation cartoon using Rock Baker's uh, images. Okay, uh, I don't have expensive equipment. My computer right over there is a old Windows 7 machine, which was upgraded to Windows 10 when that version came out. And then a couple years later, it stopped taking Windows 10 upgrades and uh, just locked up. My son was able to recover the data and convert it to a Linux machine, so I'm running this old computer on Linux right now. Uh, what we do is, Rock sends me the images via Facebook on Direct Messenger. And I... They're right there, okay? I have to set up... We, take a, we create a new folder, and uh, I read the image, and it said it was named was Sister Act. So this cartoon is going to be called Sister. Misspelled it. Sister Act. Okay. Create. So we have a new folder here called Sister Act. We'll go back into this image, and we'll hit that. Okay. Sister Act, we can see that very nicely. Okay, what I do is I directly download it to my computer, and then we move on to the next image. We download that one, and then we'll go through and download all the rest of them. As you can see, these images are very cute. We try to have fun here. These are actually the first time I'm seeing a lot of these. He sent me these images uh, yesterday evening when I was out. Okay, and that's that. All right, we've downloaded all the images now, so we can uh, put this away for a little bit. Then we'll open up the download folder. Here it is. Okay, and we'll open up Sister Act. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to move these images from here over to here. Drag and drop. Okay, now it's got a long number what I do is I rename it to number one. This is the first image. Because uh, sometimes when these come over, these numbers don't line up sequentially. And when I just drag them over, all the Im images get out of order and I lose track of where I am at. So when I pull them over, I rename them into the proper order. It's a little tedious, but it saves labor. This is uh, present mark making future marks day a lot easier. So we want to keep track. This is number five. Rock and I have been working together for quite a while on these. He actually came up with the whole concept of the cartoon cuties which are animated figures that live in the real world of uh, Creek Bend. And uh, they interact with humans every day. It's a neat little concept. And uh, he creates uh, comics and prose stories so far. And we've ventured into these static mation cartoons since we're operating with little to no budget, we have to make do with what we have. So Rock creates the art over where he lives. He then sends it over to me, and I'm doing what I'm doing right now. 
which is uh, going to put them into sort of a film strip type animated movie. Where it's just a series of images that are played in order and it tells a story. We don't have any budget to hire voice actors. My voice isn't the best, so I would never suggest that I'd be one. Okay, this is number 13. 13 images and we'll be in this one. 13. Rename. Okay, one, two, all right, 13. So what we're going to do is just, I always have to double check. I always double check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we're good there. We can get rid of that again. Okay, now we move on. We can get rid of this one now. We don't need this anymore. And we'll minimize that. And now here is OpenShot Video Editor. That is a uh, Linux-based video editing software. And all I do... Okay, now, uh, in the beginning we played around with the frame rate. I favored a much faster pace of three or four seconds per frame and rock liked six seconds per frame so we compromised and came up with six seconds per frame he's the boss these are his cartoons so i offer my advice and we go from there okay what's the name of this one again sister act okay so i'll move this up here to get it out of the whoop i didn't want to do that Okay, as you can see, I do what I do. <laughs> okay, so here we have the first image. We, what I've done is I've set this up for six seconds per frame. That's six seconds right there. So we drag this image down. And no, I don't want to make this an image sequence. And here we have the image. Okay, as you can see, the computer automatically makes it a 10 second image. So what I do is I take, I highlight the edge of the image and I push it over and I line it up to six seconds. You take the second image, drop it right down into this bar. And there she is, another 10 second image, which I then move right over and decrease down. See, there's 12 seconds. So we have one image at 6 seconds. The next image will be 6 seconds. And it winds up at 12 seconds. And then we just keep doing the same. It, this is like our 12th or 13th cartoon. The first ones were very frustrating for me. Until I figured out this way of doing it this way. In case I uh, went too fast, up here is the speed bar. I don't want to mess with it right now because it'll stretch all the images out. But this one, it automatically presets it at 16 seconds. So I just moved it down to 6 seconds. So I can keep track rather easily of the images as I move them into place. And we just keep going. Here's image six. Oh, see that one fell down to the lower level. It automatically sets up that I put, uh, this is a multi-track system. And the computer sets up that these images go on track four. And I usually put the sound on the music on track three. And then if I was to add, which I haven't done yet, if I was going to add any sound effects, I would put them down on track two. There are some times when I'm putting images in that I'll actually, on purpose, drag them down to here. 
so I can just keep them in storage. Let's say I wanted to put this image in here. I could move these guys over and then drag this one up and put it in there, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep them in order. I have never edited Rock's work. Like, I never switched images saying that I think the one... I always give him my opinion and uh, give him suggestions, and sometimes he likes it and sometimes he doesn't. It's a team effort. This is his baby, really. I'm just a hired gun. We're up to image 9. Uh, this used to take a long time. I've really streamlined the uh, effort, so I can do a pretty quick turnaround on these images. Image 11. Oh, you know what? I've already made a mistake. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this one over here. We're going to move this over here. See, now this is hubris. You think you got it all, and you don't. We're going to move these all over. Oh, no, I've really done it. All right, we'll have to fix that. Okay, we'll move these guys all over here. All right. Okay, we're going to go back to our main page, go back one. This is the stuff we want to use all the time. This was our first Indelatune logo, and then we upgrade, or actually Rock upgraded it and asked me to use this one from now on, so we'll move this guy over here. That guy's the first one. Oh, you see how long that, oh, we're really doing it. Okay, we got to get rid of that. Remove transition. Oh, why? Okay, we're going to drag that guy down, get him out of the way. Move that guy down to six seconds. And then we'll move number one back into place. Number two back into place. Number three back into place. See, this is what we want to lead off every cartoon with. And I was so cocky that I forgot it. But nothing's unfixable. It's just how much you want to drag your hair out. Now, this is a transition that happened when I overlapped these two images and I don't want it here so I just right click that and I remove that thing so we're just gonna drag these guys back over see mistakes are made and mistakes can be fixed up oh, we did another transition Bump that over there. Okay. Okay, now we're running out of room on this end. So I'm just going to move this whole string over. And we'll go back to Sister Act. What was the last one? Was number 11. So now we'll move number 12 down. Tighten that one up. And number 13. Okay, this is the last panel in the actual story. Now, Rock has requested that we do a fade out from the last panel to the closing credits. So, we'll go back to our main page. Uh, these three images right here, this one, this one, and this one are in every cartoon so far that we've produced. So this is the uh, ending logo. And what I do is I actually drag this one completely over and that creates a fade out effect. This one's just a hair long. So now this is six seconds. There's a three second fade out and then the ending logo, the end credit sequence is down to six seconds and then we go to the uh, advertisement of where you can find 
the actual comics and prose stories. And we'll suck that one down to six seconds. So this cartoon comes out to one minute and 38 seconds is that right 39 seconds that's not bad but that's a good that's a good length for a quickie okay so we have everything lined up and we'll run through this is the uh you can move this bar over and it'll take you to various parts in the cartoon we're going to run it through real quick make sure everything's smooth now of course this is without sound so as you can see you can focus on the image each image is six seconds long so you can really appreciate the art and see what's going on as you can see things are running pretty smoothly if I don't get those panels right next to each other there's a gap and there's a big black blank spot and if I overlap them they uh, do a funky transition Okay, we're about halfway through right now. You can see the girls are having a tough time trying to come up with a talent show act. What I like to do is I run it through and then I'll uh, save this as its own file. Just plain video, no sound. Because when I add the sound later, it works so much better. Each one of these breaks gives me a popping sound when I'm running one long music track. And uh, that's really annoying because I think there's a, a defect in either the music or in the video. As you can see, that faded out right at the end. Okay. This original image was much thinner. And after we ran it a couple cartoons, Rock asked me if I could pull it out a little bit. So I put it into an image editor. As you can see, this image was originally this one. And then I create, I put it in an image editor and I added these uh, blanks on the sides. Okay. So, okay, we have our, our cartoon ran smooth. There were no visible breaks or anything like that. I got all the images in order so it can tell us a coherent story. So what we're going to do is we're going to export it. Okay, the untitled project. We're going to change that name to SA for Sister Act. We're going to put it in Rock Baker Picks. It's called Sister Act. We'll highlight that one. And we're going to export it into this one as a video file with no sound. Export. This should not take too long. As you can see, that status bar moves right along pretty fairly quickly. So when this is done exporting, we'll check it to make sure that it runs smooth. And then I'll uh, stop for a little bit. I'll go hunt down the uh, music track that I want to use. And then we'll uh, come back and uh, I'll show you how I put the music in. to Rock Baker Picks, Sister Act. As you can see here are all the raw images. It's still downloading. And there is the video. So we'll run that. Okay, this is actually running. These are two of my favorite characters, the, 
the twins. So this is running fairly smooth. I like it a lot. But I always like to double check to make sure there has been once or twice where right at the end something's happened and I had to go back and fix it. And as you saw when I was just creating this one, I forgot the actual opening title card. So you always have to double check your work. Okay, now we're gonna we should see the, the fade. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. That's a good look. Okay, that ran pretty smoothly. So we're in good shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop for a few minutes. I'm gonna hunt down the uh, I already have a music track picked out in my head. I'm going to hunt. It's open source. It's not open source. It's public domain music. And I get it from a legitimate site on the internet. I'll be back in a, just a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. So I went on the internet and I found the music I wanted to use. It's a public domain Scott Joplin song called The Entertainer. You might remember it from the movie The Sting starring Robert Redford and Paul Newman. So what we got here is this is our video that we put together earlier. Put that right in there. Run that over. Okay. As you can see this defaulted to 16 seconds again. So it's no big deal now that we're dealing with much larger files. And here is the music. Like I said, it is public domain music, and I download it legally. As you can see, the song is quite longer than uh, our video, so we're going to cut it right at the end. But I like to try to cut it on a, on a break instead of just cutting it right in the middle of a note. So we're going to see what happens now when we play it. Oh, see, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Something's not working quite right. Let's try again from the beginning. This is what happens when you work with public domain stuff and open source, open source software. Things don't actually run so smooth. All right, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go to the cut tool, and we're going to line it up right there. And we're going to cut the end right off of this. All right, we've cut it with the cut tool. We'll highlight this section, remove it, and then we're just going to export it and see what happens. All right. These machines get temperamental. My, like I said, my machine isn't the newest one. It's not the most powerful. All right, it's not the most powerful processor. Sometimes it gets overwhelmed, and it just needs time to bake. Sometimes when you export it, things get uh, a lot cleaner because it it has time to figure itself out. Okay. The file name is Sister Act. We're going to download it to this folder. We're going to export it. Oh, you see it popped up. It's, it's chooching right now. All right. We're up to 3% already. This may take a little bit longer than just downloading the uh, or exporting the video files because you're adding video and music together. And I'm letting the export feature actually put it together smoother than what the actual oh see now my computer's taking a break ah there we go now we're back it had to have a little lie down for a second
it's actually mixing together in a big bowl right now. The, the video and the sound is coming together. So let's review the steps. Rock creates these images at his place, sends them to me via Facebook. I then download them from Facebook Messenger to my download folder where they come in with those long number names. I then create its own dedicated folder and I move them from the download folder to their own private folder and I rename them in order. Once they're all set, I open up the uh, video editor and then I move each image down after I set it to six seconds. Okay, open up the video editor, set it to six seconds, and I move each image in order and resize them to match six seconds. But I do remember to uh, put the title page first. And then I do the individual images from the actual cartoon. Once we get them all sized down to six seconds, I do the ending tra transition from the last image to the end credit. And then we have the uh, advertisement logo right at the end to direct you to where you can buy the comics online. I review that and then I export that as a video image into the folder. I then, once that runs smooth, I then find the music. That is actually the most difficult thing out there because we can only use public domain music because we don't have any budget to actually pay for any music. So uh, I found a couple of sites online, but most of that music is from the 20s and 30s, which is cool because it, you see my computer took a break again. It just faded out, which is cool because it fits the, uh, the aesthetic of the cartoons, much more innocent age. But uh, a friend of mine had steered me toward YouTube, has an actual bank of uh, music that you're allowed to use free of royalties. So I'm going to start diving into that and exploring that. But I had picked out the song for this one. I, I knew as soon as I saw the images that the, the entertainer from Scott Joplin was going to be the perfect music for this one. So we uh, export the raw video to there. That one runs smooth. I find the music. I download that. I bring it into this folder. And then I move it. I just, we start fresh. And we take the video, put it on the one track, and the music, put it on the other track. And then we try to get it to run together. My computer is kind of sad this morning. It's not functioning at 100%, I believe. So we're going to hopefully and we're up to 90% now. Hopefully this will all come together in uh, the mix when it, we pull it out of the oven. Okay. Give everything a second just to catch up. We're actually going to wait a little bit here. All right, let's go for it. Gonna get something? Yeah, she's coming together pretty good. Transitions are smooth, the music actually kind of lines up.
right, here we come into the landing. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I like that. Okay. I think we are in good shape. Uh, I just... If I need to go back and fix anything, which I don't think I have to. Sister Act. There's all the images. There is the... Uh, with no sound and there's the instrumental piece and there's the finished product I could actually rebuild this whole thing if I had to okay I hope that was informative if you have any questions just put them in the comments section down there and I'll do my best to answer them thank you